Hello everybody, welcome back. Happy New Year. This is something that I've uh, been requested to do many times in the comments of the other videos I've done, which is to go through my settings. So I'll do that here real quick for you. Uh, everything is the same as I've gone through in the other videos. The Holy Grail settings, the dynamic TLOD, uh, and the frame gen. So we'll look through it all. I wish there was a way I could make this bigger for you guys, but unfortunately there is not. Um, the highlights on this page really, so this is the global settings in NVIDIA control panel. The big one is obviously the DSR factors. I've got 1.78 enabled even though I don't use it simply because uh, it's what I set when I was experimenting with the Holy Grail settings. Um, but I've got these two set. 1.78 and 2.25. Everything else, anisotropic filtering, is application controlled, and we'll look at that in a second. Anti-aliasing, anti-aliasing, also application controlled. We'll look at that in a second. Um, coming down here, usually I have DSR smoothness set to 60%. Right now it's set to 33 because that's the default. DLDSR setting and the reason I have that is because when I did the dynamic TL the dynamic LOD video I turned everything off I turned uh, you know the DLDSR off um, I went back to TAA in the simulator itself uh, simply because I didn't want anything interfering with the dynamic LOD program while I was running it low latency mode I had on for a while uh, in the video control panel that is now off and it is on in the sim because they've perfected that in the sim uh, max frame rate so my I have a 60 hertz monitor one of the things that was causing crashes using the uh, frame gen program was this I had this set to unlimited and I think what the issue is is that uh, the simulator, if you've got the, the frame gen program running, it can pump out more frames than your screen can handle. And I think that's why, it, I, I think that's why it crashes. All I know is that once I set max frame rate to 60 FPS in, this, in the uh, NVIDIA control panel settings, I haven't had any problems with crashing uh, in the sim using the frame gen mod. Uh, monitor technology, G-Sync compatible. That's, uh, I have a free sync monitor that is G-Sync compatible. Um, I don't know what any of this stuff does. I've talked about power management mode. Uh, I'm only laughing because I, I literally don't know what any multi-frame sample they have. No idea. Um, power management mode. I know that some people like putting this into prefer maximum performance, but as I mentioned in another video, I don't do that simply because it it sounds like there's a vacuum cleaner running in the room with the fans going nuts in the in the uh, in my computer case. I just don't think it's necessary, so I've got that set to normal. Um, shader cache size. This is one that I picked up along the way. God knows, I can't remember quite where. Um, but I have that set to unlimited. That is not the standard setting. Um, negative LOD bias, allow, texture filter quality. This is a big one for the uh, Holy Grail settings. Texture filtering quality, high quality. The standard setting is quality. Um, but high quality helps get you that, that bit more of sharpness in... Uh, in PFDs and things like that in the sim. Uh, threaded optimization, auto, V-Sync, I have on here. I may have it on in the sim as well as far as I, now that I'm thinking about it. Um, so those are my global settings for NVIDIA control panel. These are my Microsoft Flight Simulator settings. Um, image scaling off, anisotropic filtering. This is the big one. This is the one that gets the that corrects that weird water, like shimmering, uh, that's just awful in the sim. That was the one thing that I was trying to get right before I did the Holy Grail video was to get rid of that, that water 
strangeness. Uh, I used to have anisotropic filtering 16 times in the sim and off here. I reversed that. I have it on 16 times now in NVIDIA control panel and off in the sim. And that is what got rid of the water stuff. Um, so all of this stuff is used global setting. Low latency mode is off because it's on in the sim. Um, this is all use global setting. Um, anisotropic sample optimization. This is off. Can't think of why, but it is. Um, vertical sync triple 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 buffering off. Tri threaded optimization on. Vertical sync on. Um, so those are my. NVIDIA control panel settings. The real big ones to me are the anisotropic filtering 16 times in NVIDIA control panel um, and the this one, the texture filtering quality, high quality, that's, the, that's another really big one. And the other big one is the 60 frames per second limiting in, uh, in NVIDIA control panel. As I said again, normally DSR smoothness, I would have this set to 60%, uh, and I may go back to that. Um, we'll go to the sim now. Um, these are the settings that I used with the frame gen mod, which is what I run all the time now. So um, I have a 2K monitor, which is 2560 times 1440. But of course, with the Holy Grail settings, I've got this 2.25 DS, DLDSR setting of 3840 by 2160. Um, before I go any further, so when I did the dynamic LOD video, uh, Friday, I think it was today, it's Monday, um, I turned everything off. I disabled all the settings that I had for DLDSR. Um, I set, let me cancel this. I set anti-aliasing, aliasing to TAA, um, but I left everything else the same. And it was unbelievable how bad the sim looked at 2K with the Holy Grail settings turned off and DLSS off, you know, just using TAA, which is what I used to run. You know, it's, a, it's kind of amazing what you can get used to. It was terrible. It was terrible. Um, so I've got the 20, the 3840 2160 um, for DLDSR. It's part of the Holy Grail setup. DLSS super resolution quality. DLSS frame gen on. Um, I don't even know if... I know that some people with, with NVIDIA cards use the AMD sharpening. I don't know why. Um, maybe somebody can explain that to me. V-Sync off. I've got that uh, forced on in the NVIDIA control panel settings that we saw earlier. DX12 beta. Um, do I get some of the ground uh, bleed? Through? I don't know. Some people call it bleed through. I get some, uh, some ground kind of popping of ground textures. You saw it in the Corsica video on short final that I did the other day. I can live with it. It doesn't bother me. Um, terrain level of detail 400. Object level of detail 400. These are all ultra. Anastropic filtering is off because it's uh, it's on a NVIDIA control panel. Texture super sampling, I've got 6 and 6 by 6. I know I can go higher than that. That's one of the ones that I've that I've notice you don't really notice that much of a difference um water waves is high because that's that's the uh that's the highest setting for water waves um the rest of the stuff you can all see um the one thing that i have turned off is motion blur because motion blur just looks so bad i don't know why anybody would use it um, the other one that I discovered kind of recently, Bloom. Some people don't like the, the like the kind of the sunlight, like the 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 dots that like ray of dots that 
that comes towards you as you're looking into the sun. Um, some people find that unrealistic. If you turn Bloom off, the sun just looks like a looks like a, a, a lemon in the sky. It looks terrible. Um, so that's that's one of them. Um, in terms, I fly on Vatsim all the time, so I have traffic off. Um, I do like seeing some people around the airports. I've got worker density 33. I like boats. Um, cars aren't that important to me. I do like boats. I do like trees. So that all that stuff is jacked. Boats, ships, and ferries, and fauna are 100%. Um, data, yeah, I mean, I've got, of course, outline functionality. Um, I delete my rolling cache pretty much whenever I uh, update the sim. I'll delete the rolling cache and then reset it. I've got 20 gigs. Uh, flight model, that one's, you, you don't really need to see. Um, let me see if there's anything else that's interesting. Assistance options, I've got everything on hard. The only thing I have on um, custom is uh, the piloting stuff because I have turbulence set to medium. I just find the, the realistic turbulence to be much too strong. Um, and... Yeah, all this stuff is off. G effect, I've got jet pilot. I have no idea what that even does. But, um, you know, I've got all of, like, all of the failure and damage and, and icing, all that stuff, all on. Um, yeah, so I think that's pretty much it. Um, I am going to be trying in the next couple days to do uh probably not today to do a video with the uh holy grail settings the frame gen mod running and the dynamic lod going i have yet to do that i'm perfectly confident that's going to work out just fine um so those are all my settings that's what i run normally of course i should have told you at the very beginning of the video i have a 12700k uh, stock. I do not have that overclocked, although I'm thinking about overclocking that now, just doing a real simple overclock on it. Um, and a 3080 Ti, RTX 3080 Ti, um, 12 gig uh, graphics card and 36 um, gigs of RAM. I think it's 5600, 5400. Um, I'm going to look real quick. I can find it. Um, might not be able to find it because I don't know where it is. Uh, ba, 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 ba. I'll have to look and 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 put that. I don't know which one this is under. I don't want to take any more of your time. So, yeah, it's it's like fifty two hundred or fifty four fifty six. I forget which. Um, but anyway, those are all my settings, and um, like I said, when I did the dynamic LOD video and turned all of this stuff off, it was absolutely unbelievable how horrible it looked. <laughs> the sim just looked terrible, um, and I reset everything yesterday to do a demo flight for my mother, actually, to show her what my sim looked like, um, and and I was just blown away. I flew St. Bart's to, to Grand Cass and St. Martin. I was just blown away by how it looked. Just amazing. So those are all my settings. If you guys have any questions, please don't hesitate to uh, put a comment in the uh, in the comments. And I hope you guys had a great New Year's Eve. And I wish you all well for 2024. And we'll see you back soon.